Wreath number two. Armstrong, Private Thomas Miller. The wreath will be laid by the Honorable Reza Moridi, Minister of Research, Innovation and Science, and Member of Provincial Parliament for the riding of Richmond Hill. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, on August 19, 1942, 5,000 members of Canadian military, they invaded northern shore of France, occupied by Germany. 5,000 members of our military participated in that raid. 916 of them made supreme sacrifice. They sacrificed so that they wanted to defeat racism, Nazism, occupation. They made supreme sacrifice so that you and I and we in Canada and in the democratic world can live in peace and democracy and freedom. One of those who made a supreme sacrifice was Private Thomas Miller Armstrong. Thomas was born on November 9, 1920 in Toronto, Ontario. Prior to enlistment, he worked for the International Nickel Company in, Sarnia, Ontario, in Sudbury, Ontario as a timberman and a machineman. Thomas's hobbies included woodworking and skiing. He enlisted on February 28, 1940 and he stated that the reason was for adventure. He served as a member of Z Force in Iceland before landing in the UK in November of 1940. Thomas was never found after the deep raid, so he was presumed killed in action. Wreath number three, good, Private Ernest Albert, by his honor, Mayor Dave Barrow of the town of Richmond Hill. Our respects to Mr. Ernest Albert Good, the C Company, 14 platoon. As you notice, there's a number of members of council presenting wreaths. I just want to acknowledge Regional Councilor Brenda Hogg, who's joined us this afternoon and this morning to, uh, to honor all those from Richmond Hill who lost their lives on that tragic day. Ernest was born on April 15, 1916 in Toronto. He, prior to his enlistment on September 15th, 1939, he worked as a farmer in the Elgin Mills area along with his family. He was a member of the Canadian Corps of Signal Militia Unit starting in 1934. He served in Iceland as a member of the Z Force between June and October 1940. He landed at Blue Beach as a member of C Company 14 Platoon, where he was killed in action during that raid. Reef number four, Glover, Lance Corporal Joseph Alvert. The wreath will be laid by Captain Retired Ted Krofchak, Royal Canadian Air Force, CF-18 pilot. Uh, Joseph uh, Albert Glover, C Company. Uh, Joseph was born August 16, 1900 in North Gilmurray, Gillenbury, Ontario. He was five foot six and a half tall with brown hair, hazel eyes, and prior to his enlistment he was worked as a farmer and also served as a member of the Toronto Irish Regiment during 1940. He was a member of the Z Force that served in Iceland uh, before June and October of 1940. He landed at Blue Beach as a member of C Company and was killed in action during the raid. Wreath number five, Hill. Private Charles, by the councillor for Ward 4 of the town of Richmond Hill, David West. Today, on this monumental anniversary, we will lay a wreath to honour Private Charles Hill. 
Private Hill was a member of our community. He lived in Richvale, which in the 1940s was just a suburb of our town. We are honored today to have with us Barbara Stanworth, her son Brian, and Judy Cowan, as well as Judy and Barbara's husbands. If I have this correct, Barbara and Judy are Private Hill's nieces and Brian his great nephew. I am sure you are all especially proud of Charles, as we are. I will also add that Brian continued in his great uncle's tradition and was a member of the militia in his younger years. His regiment was the Royal Regiment of Canada, the same regiment as his great uncle Charles. Just before his 20th birthday, Private Hill enlisted and ultimately became a part of A Company. It was on August 19, 1942 that Private Hill, along with around 6,000 of his comrades, courageously landed on a beach near Dieppe. Wreath number six, Weiss, Private Russell Thomas. Wreath will be lain by the Honorable Peter Kent, Member of Parliament for Thornhill. Private Russell Thomas Weiss was born on November 26, 1920, and he lived not far from here on Center Street uh, in Thornhill. He attended Earl Hague Collegiate and enlisted for active service in the Canadian Army on July 10th, 1940. At the time of his enlistment, his occupation was listed as gardener. Russell trained at Base Borden till the spring of 1941. In April of 41, he embarked for Halifax for overseas service. He was transferred from the 1st Canadian Infantry Holding Unit to the Royal Regiment of Canada on August 22, 1941. Russell's mother, Julia Weiss, received the first telegram notifying her that her son was officially reported missing in action on August 25th, 1942. The telegram was followed up uh, just four months later on December 5th, 42, notifying her that her son was now confirmed through the International Red Cross as killed in action on the 19th of August, 1942. When we started this process, there was uh, six wreaths to be laid. There's now seven. Pri Finley, Private William John. Private William John Finley was born February 13, 1916, I believe, in the Thornhill area. It is with, just with short notice, I was not able to get his attestation paper to confirm, uh, to, so I do not have a lot of detail. He was a neighbor of Private Russell Weiss on Center Street in Thornhill, and in fact they were chums before the war and went to high school together. Their brothers were also friends and attended the Newton Brook Legion periodically for a cup of tea in the years following the war. In William's record of death, his occupation was shown as professional golfer. I have a sneaking suspicion he did not have to travel far to get to work. I was advised of Private Finley's death and local involvement by John Weiss, the nephew of Russell, in an email this past Wednesday evening. John's not here. He lives a little bit far away in Palominas, Arizona. He simply asked the question, Will William John Finley be commemorated as well? I knew I could not get a ribbon for the wreath, but I knew with the information John provided me and the information I pulled off the web, we will remember. The wreath will be laid by Sergeant Retired Michael Ostafichuk, CD, Legion First Vice President. would now like to call on Warrant Officer 2nd Class Hannah Barros of the 778 Banshee Air Cadet Squadron to play the last post. 
lowering of the flag by 778 Banshee Air Cadet Squadron Warrant Officer First Class, Michelle Hoyt. We will now have the McConaughey Center chimes toll seven times for each of the seven men who lost their lives. At the end of the seventh toll, we will have one moment's silence. Ha <laughs> ha